Welcome to This Week in Anime History, where I talk about things that happened this week in anime history. Going all the way back to 1933, April 13th, and the, the premiere of Within the World of Power and Women. Um, this is a, um, uh, a very early anime, um, uh, obviously 1933, um, also known as Chikara to Ona no Yo no Naka. It's an anime short film. Um, and the first talky anime films. The first anime film of any time featuring uh, voiceovers, black and white. Um, and um, it was, this is one of the best of the best in the 12th Japan Media Arts Festival. Um, the plot, which is on Wikipedia, amazingly enough, which I'll explain in a bit. Uh, the protagonist is the father of four children. His wife is 5.9 feet tall um, and weighs 260 pounds due to her rather Ooh. large physique. Um, he's constantly henpecked at home, and thus becomes involved in an affair with a typist, then accidentally tells his wife about it while talking in his sleep. Um, she then confronts both her husband and her type, the typist at her husband's office. This is remarkable because there are no known prints of this film available. It's a lost film. And yet, uh, uh, it's still wow. out there. Um, yeah. Um, and... Uh, um, it's, yeah, I, it's, it's apparently gone. Um, this was at the Great Condo Earthquake, but, um, also to be clear, the jazz singer came out six years prior. <laughs> so the first talkie <laughs> film had only been made six years prior, and they made yeah. this. So, full wow. applause. And the first Japanese talkie live action film was made in 1931. Um, Damn. So that was really, really cool. Um, and, uh. Um, the, uh, the, the funny thing was, um, they had to hire actors because there wasn't such a thing as a voice actor. Mm -hmm. They just hired actors for it. Wow. Thing. Um, and, uh, apparently, um, the stars were hired from the Takara Zuka Review. So, tying that back into everything. Um, but that's not all. There's plenty of other stuff that happened. Uh, we can move forward in time by a little while to April 12th, 1945, in the release of Momotaro's Sacred Sailors. Oh, boy. Yeah. yeah. Um, the first feature-length animated film in Japan. Um, propaganda. Uh, World War II propaganda, very much, very strongly. Um, and um, uh, a film that was part of a tradition of trying to get folks to volunteer for the military, or at least uh, drive more, uh, you know, more interest in, in the military. Uh, unfortunately, being released in April of 1945, things were not going well, and everybody knew it. Yeah, yeah. Um, so not a huge success in there, <clears throat> but it was made, and um, it is now available from Funimation on Blu-ray. So you can go and grab that if you would like. Um, wow. <laughs> yeah, moving forward to slightly happier news, in 1954, April 14th, Katsuhiro Otomo was born. Um, hey. Yeah, the creator of Akira, and um, who had a an assistant work with him named Satoshi Kone, who later on went on to do some pretty cool things. Um, apparently, him. yeah, uh, apparently some of the uh, covers of Akira were painted by Satoshi Kone, but I've not been able to find like a confirmation of that anywhere. Um, but yeah, very cool. Um, also, what's did the medal? The medal. I am not sure what oh. that is. Um, okay. I believe he, it was if he. Uh, it was it was some like um, cultural prize I think in in Japan, okay. Um, and uh, yeah, he was. Um, um, if you're interested in, in more of his interesting work, uh, look for the anime film Memories, which is a collection of three mm -hmm. like, short films all put back to back um, as part of this film, um, including one of them directed by Satoshi Kon. So kind of his his first major work. And then moving on, quite a few decades to the you guys will know this as soon as I say it. Um, the worst double feature in human history. Oh, boy. Yeah. Um, the release in April 16th of Grave of the Fireflies <laughs> and Totoro back to back in theaters. <laughs> <laughs> so cute and so tragic. So cute and so tragic. So, tragic. so Grave of the Fireflies was first on the bill. Oh, God. Thank um, so God. Most watch that. And um, the, the stuff I read about it is uh, this, this prompted some confusion from parents. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
and partly because we're gonna see Totoro in this wonderful movie right. before Grave of the Fireflies. This sounds so cute. This is the thing: is that everyone knew what Grave of the Fireflies was, and they also could like they, they, they could see like the promotional stuff for for for, for my neighbor Totoro. So they're like, okay, so Grave clearly isn't gonna be like as tragic as the story is because Totoro is clearly this nice thing. So clearly we're gonna get like this, this middle ground, right? Like we're gonna get. Something that's just kind of, you know, serious and dramatic, but not that, you know, and then, uh. <laughs> Well, they tried it the other way around initially, but the suicide rate <laughs> afterwards was too terrible, so they flipped the billing. Oh, yeah. gosh. It's, it's bad. Um, yeah. Audio's fading in and out. Okay, apologies. I'll, I'll see what I can do on that. Um, but, yeah, that was, uh, that was how those movies first aired. <laughs> Yeah. Was a, that, you know, that just screams like, here's your gut punch, and then some candy afterwards. Yeah, exactly. You know, it's just like, a cookie what? will make you feel better. 